Hey everyone, so it's Tara Talks Beauty. This is going to be my second video. And so this is tag is from Elle Fowler, All That Glitters 21. And it was around like 2011-ish, like maybe like late 2011. So you probably already have seen this tag 25 times, or maybe 2,500 times. But I thought this would let you get to know me more since I'm just starting out. Oh, and just a disclaimer, um, I'm getting a new camera soon, so if the quality's really bad, I'm filming on a MacBook. So bear with me. So question number one is, what do you think you can do but you can't? I think that I can run. I'm really bad at running. I came in last every single race I ran. Literally, I think maybe like one, I came like second to last. And even then, I probably came in last, and I probably just don't remember. The one race my parents went to go save mine, because, I mean, they work, so it's hard for them to come to every race, and most parents don't, was, um, it was like a boys and girls race. And the girls raced like a half an hour before the boys, and so I went to run with the girls, and I ended up starting late, which I don't even know how that's possible. And then, not only did I come in last in the girls race, the boys outran me, so... I'm not going to be in the 2016 Olympics unless I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be in the 2016 Olympics, even if I went on, like, the TV show Made by MTV. Um, number three, what is a favorite TV show from your childhood? My all-time favorite show is Full House, with, like, Bob Saget and, like, Jody Sweden and all of them, like, Dave Corlier. Um, I like Bob Salad, Sa Bob Salad, <laughs> Bob Salad, Bob Saget's Life Lessons. I feel like I've actually learned a lot from that, which is really corny. And I used to like wake up at like 6 a.m. before school and watch them like religiously like, two hours. And I want to get like the big set, like the huge set with like the whole like house. And I recently actually went to California and I actually saw like the house. They're called like the Painted Ladies or something. And I was like, oh, that's like that's that's where they lived or that's where they lived. Um. Number four, what are your virtues and vices? I'll name two for each. One of my virtues is I feel like I'm very, I'm a nice person. I mean, it sounds kind of like weird to be like, oh, I'm a nice person, but everyone I said usually thinks I'm pretty nice, or at least I feel like I've changed a lot, so I feel like I'm a pretty good person. I like to be nice to people and like go out of my way to do things. And another thing is I think I'm pretty much optimistic. I used to be really pessimistic and used to be really like stressed out, but I feel like lately, like especially since I started like working, a lot of people would be like, oh, you're really happy, and I'm like, yeah. Well, I try to be. And then my vices are, I'm a really big procrastinator. I don't know why I couldn't say that word for a second. Um, I'll always do my work last minute, which is so bad. And I get it done always, but it's just always, I get so much stress. Then I complain about being stressed, which makes me stressed even more. I'm just, and then my other vice is I'm a, like a people pleaser. So sometimes like when you're like, I go out of my way to be really nice people and they're not nice back and then you get like your feelings hurt. So I sound like a four-year-old baby in this video. <laughs> Whatever. Um, what's more important, love, fame, power, or money? I think love is the most important. Like, I think, like, you know, having fame and, like, being powerful is, like, cool. Especially if you're, like, Oprah. But I feel like being in, like, love is, like, the most important thing. Because I feel like if you're not loved, you're not happy. And if you're not loving something, then how could you, like... I feel like you need to love something to be able to get powerful or money. Because, like, if you don't love it, then how are you going to, like, put your all into it? But, yeah, that's what I think. Um... If you could live in any time or era, what period would you choose and why? I would pick, like, the 20s or, like, the, the notebook era where it's, like, the nice music and everyone's really friendly and kind and, like, everyone's, like, a nurse and, like, I don't know, I th I, well, not everyone's a nurse, but you know what I mean? I thought that was, like, really cool and, like, I love when I hear, like, the music if I'm, like, walking around. It always brings me, like, a happy mood. And I would actually want to live in, like, the 90s, like, the Backstreet Boys. Like, I wish I was, like, Howie the Backstreet Boy, like, the one with, like, the mustache. It's, like, Yeah. I always dance to the music. I, like, know, like, every single song. Um, number seven. If you were to redo your entire wardrobe with two stores, what would they be and why? I would probably pick, if it's based on the stores that I go to the most, it would be, um, H&M or Forever 21, since they're both in my local mall, and I just really like it, and I feel like they're cheap and affordable and they're cute clothes. But if I had to pick any stores, I probably would pick Saks and Nordstrom's, because I think their clothes are so nice, and I, like, spend, like, hours just, like, over everything on their site. <laughs> If you had to, can you recall what you're doing a year ago on this day? Sorry, I'm reading this on an iPad Touch, so it's kind of hard to read. Um, I don't remember. I hope maybe this time next year, if I'm gone here a year, then I'll remember it because I'll know I'm making this video. But I was probably hanging out with my cousin or I was on vacation, maybe to like the beach or something. Do you have any reoccurring dreams? If so, explain. I have reoccurring dreams that I can't speak. Like, I'll be, like, like an animal or, like, a puma will be coming to get me, and I just can't scream for help, which is really scary. And sometimes in person, like, when I first wake up, I'll forget that I can speak, and someone will be like, hi! And I'll be like... And then I'll remember I can speak, and I'm like, hi! <laughs> um, what's your horoscope? I'm an Aries, which is 
It ends April 18th, so if I was boring the next day, it was April 19th, then I'd be, I think, a Taurus. If you know them, put in the down bar, because I'm not really 100% sure. I think I, I think I fit my horoscope. I think it's like a fire sign or something, but yeah, I like reading it when I get bored. Um, what does your bed, dream bedroom look like? I really like, like, nautical style bedrooms. I like, like, blue and white stripes and, like, red pillows and just, like, everything really nice and, like, nice, like, little, like, ships, like, little decals and the thing and, like, I just really like it, like, seashells. Um, what position do you sleep in? I actually sleep on my right side and sometimes in fetal position, but, um, I recently got my cartilage pierced, which is right there. It looks kind of red on camera, but it's not that bad. And so I have to sleep on my left side. Funny story, I was actually going to get my cartilage pierced on that side so I could sleep on the right side. But my cartilage is kind of funky. Like, I don't know, it just looks kind of weird on that side. So, oh, and I have three earlobe piercings down there if you can see the dots. So I just sleep on the other side, which is kind of throwing me off in a loop. Um, who is your favorite vampire of all time? I don't really watch True Blood and I don't really watch... I mean, I've seen the Twilight movies. I haven't seen the last, like, two or three. But, um, I would say Edward Cullen. Maybe Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I don't even know what that is, but I'm sure he's cool. Oh, she! Whoops! <laughs> Shows how much I know about it. Um, what are you currently wearing on your feet? I'm actually not wearing anything. It's really warm, so I was wearing sandals before, so I'm not wearing anything. Do you have neat handwriting? I have terrible handwriting. Everyone tells me I have terrible handwriting. I can't fix it. I try to fix it. When I'm doing, like, essays in class, I feel so bad for the teacher. I don't really have pen or paper right now, otherwise I'd write it for you, but I'll, I'll like, hand write how I'd write it. Oh, my name's Tara, by the way, but I guess you knew that because it's Tara Talks Beauty. And I wanted to know, how do you guys pronounce Tara? Do you pronounce it, like, Tara or Tara? Huh? Tara Talks Makeup? Yeah, I just, like, Jamie's laughing at me because I just said my name, but, I mean, I guess you know it if you're on my channel because it's Tara Talks. Tara Talks Beauty. Tara Talks Beauty. Did I say the wrong channel name? Wait, which one is it? Tara Talks Beauty. Oh, I thought it was Tara Talks Beauty. No, oh, sorry. We have, like, a channel, like, named, like, Dilemma. But, um, so that's my channel, and I hope I can make more videos soon if you like it. If you don't like it, just either like or rate or subscribe or whatever you want to do, and I'll check out your channel back, and hopefully if you have any requests for any videos, I'll do them soon. Have a nice night. Bye!